Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what the next thing I'm going to do on the Hilux is. I know I've got some things on the go, but scroll through Facebook this morning. I've seen this combo. Oh, check that out. But there's no way that's going to fit in there. So I'm going to cut this down, see if we can bang it in behind the back seat and still have it kind of work. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get some bass in the old Lux. Righto, let's see if we can chop this sucker down. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is remove this plastic grate thing that's on the front of it. This is actually a store-bought sub protector. It's not installed very well, but it doesn't matter. It works, that's the main thing. Now I can get this sub out and uh, we can have a look what we're dealing with on the inside here. That's a deep sucker. I think we're going to struggle to get this to fit, but I don't know. We'll just cut the box down as small as we can and hope for the best because I'm not measuring it. That's too hard. Right, let's get this out of the way. I want to pull this little port out that makes the wires go through the box. Heaps neater than just drilling a hole and poking them through, so we'll definitely reuse that. So I've taken the bolts out of one side and just slacking the ones off on the other, and we can see that that is miles away from fitting. A good six inches. Right, so we've just been out and we've seen this big thing doesn't fit. I mean, look at the box it came in. It's a big sub. Probably should have got tens or slim lines, but... If you're getting slim lines, really, what's the point? I mean, you might as well just get splits or six feet lines because slim lines are crap anyway, so. We've got this big sucker. I mean, it was cheap. We're going to make it work. I think I'm going to cut the box down. I'm going to cut it along here, cut the Kenwood logo off, make it a bit smaller. See if we can fit it in between the back seat and the center console. If we can get it in there nice and neat, it won't be too bad. So we're going to give that a crack. I'll cut this down and I'll see you along the way. I'm just using a jigsaw to cut this thing down. I mean, you could use a circular saw or a band saw. I mean, you could use a hand saw if you want, but this is what I got. This is what I'm using. Probably pay to take the foam out of the inside first, so that doesn't happen, but, you know, it got the job done. Kenwood. Now, my plan is to carefully remove the excess timber here and then just glue the end panel back on. Bang a few nails in, it will be good. Obviously the hammer didn't do it that neatly, so back with the jigsaw, get it pretty close. I'm not too concerned with getting an awesome fit, I mean, the better it fits, the better I guess, but uh, yeah, as long as you get it pretty close, it should be good. I'm just going to chuck a few nails in it so we can go out and test fit it. So I'll just chuck two or three of these in, and leave them high enough so I can pull them back out with a claw hammer when I find it. Right, let's go see if she fits. Mm. Look at that. That is perfect. Couple of cup holders on top. Plenty of room for the kids' seats still. Bit of foot room, chuck their feet up on it. We're gonna be pumping in no time. Nice. Let's fix this thing up properly and get it mounted in. All right, so we just wanna rip these nails out. That's why we left them high. And then you just wanna grab the closest silicon gun you can find with whatever silicon's in it. This one I think was roof and gutter or something, I don't know. But it'll do the job, put it on nice and thick, bang the nails back in it, plenty more of them this time and all the way down. Don't worry about that excess squeezing out, that just adds a bit of character. We might fix that up as we go. No, it's looking pretty neat. I've decided I'm going to layer a little bit more in so we can build it up flush with the edge of the carpet and any low spots. Now I'm going to give it a quick coat of this uh, black interior paint we used on one of the other videos. I've got a little bit left over. I don't want this blue standing out. It's it's quite bright and I don't want to be screaming, I'm a huge bogan. Obviously I'm a bit of a bogan. I mean, look at me. I want a bit of bass in the Hilux, but I don't want to stand it out that much. So we'll paint it black to blend in it a little now bit more. I'm just going to work out where to mount this big sucker. Now this is a little bit of 12mm marine ply, you could use anything, this is what I had lying in the shed. So a full width of ply, fits pretty neat in the back of the car, and for the height, I'll bang it up on the screen because I can't remember what it is. So I've just cut it down, rounded off the edges, and then we go and throw it in and realise it's about 2mm too high, and you just can't bend that 12mm in. So we'll go and trim a little bit more off, bang it in again, this time it fits. As I tried, I couldn't get the... Uh couldn't get the sub and the amp to work. I think it's the RCA leads. I'll show you what I mean now. What the? Yeah, so obviously that's not real good. So I'm just heading to town to grab some new RCAs. Maybe some splitters too to double down just to make sure that's going to work. But 
I'll catch you when we get back. Right, so this is going to be a problem. Probably more the more so that than the back one. But, lucky we've got these now. So in hindsight, probably should have checked that first. Before I ran the leads through the car. Oh, well, we'll see if it works with the new RCAs. Oh, you piece of... Oh. Here's a lesson why you don't use an impact driver to do these up. I mean, it seems pretty obvious, but don't do it. Right, at long last, there she is, all mounted up where it's going to sit. You can see how much room's around it. Not a lot, but there's enough. Uh, set of console sort of only opens about halfway. We've got that protector back on there. If you want to see the wire and check out one of my other videos, I walk you right through it. And this is how it goes. <laughs> So yeah, pretty good result. It does look a little bit PMR, if you guys know what I mean, but if you love your music and you've got a dual cab and you want that bass, you can still fit it in. Righto, cheers guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Catch ya.